Hello everyone, this is Suraj here. Welcome you all to my channel. Today I will show you how to modify the desired capacity of an autoscaling group with respect to the CPU utilization of EC2 instances attached to that ASG, right? So I'll go to my AWS account first. You can see I already have created one autoscaling group and at the top of that autoscaling group I have created one load balancer also. Uh, you can see here it is still uh, loading. It will be appeared soon yes this is one uh, load balancer that is my lb and at the top of the auto scaling group this lb is set up here okay and one target group is also there see here my tg so i will recommend you to go through the video number six of aws playlist in this channel and after that come to this video so so that it, you can understand thoroughly what is happening one by one fine now what i will do i will i am in now target group so i'll select this and we'll go to attributes and i will edit the attribute here you can see deregistration delay is there and the value of deregistration delay is 300 seconds so what is this the time to wait for in flight request to complete while deregistering a target during this time the state of the target is draining so we have to wait for at least 300 second until a new instance launches and the old instance gets terminated so i will make this as 30 second fine i will save changes again i will come to auto scaling group here you can see desired capacity is 2 and instances are also 2 i will go to instances See running instances are 2. Now what I will do? I will create two auto scaling policy. One for scaling and another for scale out. That means once the CPU utilization will be greater than or equals to 80% then few instances will be added to the auto scaling group and once the CPU utilization is less than or equals to 30%, then few EC2 instances will be removed from auto scaling group. So, how we can achieve that? Just follow me. Auto scaling group. I'll select auto scaling, this auto scaling group. And now I am in automatic scaling. And you can see dynamic scaling policy is there. Automatic create dynamic scaling policy. And here I'll uh, select step scaling so i'll name this as scale out policy and here i have to create one alarm so create cloud watch alarm i'll click this it's still opening yes the here it is you can see cloud watch alarm and create alarm so i'll select the matrix which matrix I should select? I'll go to EBS by auto scaling group. I'll search for the name auto scaling group that is my SG. Fine. So it may take few minutes to uh, get appeared. So don't worry about that. If the, the, this does not appear here, you just wait for at least five minutes, then it will be appeared here. So I'll select my SG CPU utilization and we'll select the matrix and the period will be one minute i will choose one minute and i will write if the cpu utilization is greater than equals to 80 percent then the alarm will be triggered fine i will go to next and i will do nothing in in this notification section i will remove everything and we will go to next and we will name this uh, scale out alarm fine next and create alarm okay now i'll go to the previous page and we'll refresh this and select that alarm scale out alarm and now what i have to do if the cpu utilization is greater than equals to 80 percent then i have to add something i have to add instances how many instances do i want to add let's suppose i want to add uh, another two instances fine so another two instances will be added with this auto scaling group that means if the desired capacity is now 2 and the 
CPU utilization of those two instances is greater than equals to 80 percent, then another two instances will be launched automatically. That means at that time the desired instances will be four, two plus two four. Fine. So I'll create this. See here, scale out policy is there. Now what I will do? I will create another policy that is scale in policy. So here I'll select uh, step scaling, and now I'll name this scale in policy. And again, I will create another alarm. Select matrix in the same way. I'll go to EC2 by auto scaling group. I'll choose for my SG CPU utilization. Yes, this one. Fine. Yes, select matrix. And I'll choose one minute. And now it is less than or equals to thirty percent. Fine. Go to next. I will remove this notification. Go to next, and I will name this as scale in alarm. Fine. Go to next, create alarm. The alarm is still getting created. Yes, the scale in alarm is in in insufficient data. It is created now. I will refresh and choose scale in alarm. Fine. Now what we need to do? If the utilization is less than equals to thirty percent, then I will remove. What I will do? I will remove. Suppose I will remove one instance from the auto scaling group. Fine. So that means if the desired capacity is two now, then two EC2 instances are running. And if anyhow the CPU utilization of those two EC2 instances are less than equals to thirty percent, then one instance will be removed from that auto scaling group fine so i we will check that one so i will create now you can see here desired capacity is 2 and instance is also 2 and very soon the scaling policy will be applied why because because the cpu utilization of these two ec2 instances are less than 30% so scaling alarm will be triggered and one instance will be removed so we will wait for one minute and we'll check what is the status yes see here desired capacity is one and instance is two so it will be updated very soon and if i go to the cloud watch see here scale in alarm is in in alarm state why i'll go here And just check. This is that here. It is thirty percent, and till the CPU utilization is, it is approx one percent, two percent like that. You can see. So as it is less than thirty percent, hence the desired capacity is now one. Means one instance has been terminated from the auto scaling group. So instance is still two. So instances. so it will wait for at least 30 seconds because in the draining time that is i will show you in the target group my tg attribute you just see here deregistration delay is 30 seconds that means it will wait for at least 30 seconds before one instance gets terminated so that is why i have said this 30 seconds not 300 second okay so So that's it for now today and if you really like this video kindly like share comment and subscribe and press the bell icon bye bye